there's two things that are technically outstanding at the moment. Minasan, konnichiwa. Okaizaku desu. So, I just got back home, just finished my second interview with the company. It went well. Um, long story short, very similar to the first time, they want me to be with them full time, which makes sense, uh, in order to support my visa and have sponsorship and work permit. Saying that, they of course want me to leave school. It's not that they want me to quit school, it's just that they want me to work full time and commit to them. That only makes sense. If I'm not able to do that, I can only work in a part time capacity, which means I could stay on my current visa, which is the student visa, still go to school full time, uh, Monday to Friday and work part-time with them. However, my classes in the new term, starting very shortly, will be in the afternoon time, starting from about 2 p.m. and ending around 6 p.m. So it's a four-hour day right there, and it's right in the middle of the day. That is highly inconvenient uh, for any workplace, obviously, to be right in the middle. It's better to have classes really late at night or super early in the morning so that I can still have that big chunk in the middle of the day to be at the workplace. Unless, of course, I start work super early in the day and end around noontime or start work at like 8 o'clock at night. Which, on a part-time basis, if I'm only working four hours a day, give or take, then that will take me to midnight and then I wouldn't have classes again till 2 in the afternoon. So that kind of works out a little bit. However, the other side of that is, is that they obviously want me to commit to them so they can do visa support. However, the other side is that if I do quit school and commit to the company full-time, the school would only give me a partial refund. As the second term has already started, we completed the first term in December. Now rolling into January, we've started the second term, and the second term will currently end in the middle of March, give or take, mid to, to late March. And if I quit school while a term has already started, I won't receive a refund for that term. I'll receive a refund for the terms that have not yet begun. And if I quit school, then I would have to leave this apartment. I'm okay with that. However, I would need to move out within a week. As soon as the course ends, I need to be out of this apartment within the week. So at least I've got that week to kind of play with, but the apartments I've looked at to this point have been unfurnished in different parts of town, which is okay, but that's not a huge problem. Of course, I can buy furniture, everything like that. Uh, the most recent place I looked at, uh, there were three actually apartments. Uh, none of them had a fridge, a washing machine, any place to sit, curtains, you name it. It was completely empty. They had a stove, a shower, and a toilet. That's all it had. <laughs> That's okay, so the place that I choose would have to be uh, another commitment on its own, uh, doing a year lease. Thankfully, the company that I'm going with through the apartments um, is not uh, necessarily a long-term commitment. I do have to pay the full year up front, plus a two-month deposit, so 14 months up front. And of course, I'm responsible for setting up internet and my own bills and everything like that. However, if I decide to leave at any point, I can give them a 15 days notice and there's no penalty at all. So I'll get a full refund. There might be a slight uh, cleaning fee that comes associated with that, or if there's any damage, obviously they'll come in, they'll expect a place, see how um, dirty it is, how I treated it. Um, and if there's any damage or anything like that, then there might be small fees uh, with them, or large fees depending on how the rave parties go. But in any case, I have spoken with the school. Um, they've given me all the details that I need. I had my second interview today. They provided me with a lot of details that I need from them as well. There's two things that are technically outstanding at the moment. One of them is deciding if I'm going to be part-time or, or full-time with them. That will determine the exact position I might get with them. It might determine the salary that I might get with them, which is why I'm leaning towards the full-time role. If I, if I commit to a full-time role, it'll be a higher-end role and a management role, uh, and it'll be a hi higher salary with that as well and of course all the other commitments that come with it the uh, the work permit the visa and the certificate of enrollment so uh, when you come to Japan and need a visa you need a certificate of enrollment which is applied for from your employer or school or workplace or whatever it might be to the government of Japan which is basically a letter that says yes we've verified that this person is who they say they are um, and they're going to be working or studying at the place that they've indicated here um, and they are allowed to apply for the visa. That letter only allows you to apply for the visa. And if you watch a few of my videos ago, um, I'll put the link in the description that um, basically went through the process of applying for the visa with that COE. So the COE can take anywhere from a few weeks to even a few months to receive. And without it, you can't formally apply for the visa. You can still work uh, in the meantime, depending on what your, your visa currently is. But you need to wait for that uh, document, that letter, the COE, the Certificate of Enrollment, before you can work 
beyond that point. So with the current visa, I could only work part-time uh, with the company. And then once the COE comes through and everything else gets sorted, then I can formally apply for the work permit and work visa and go from there. And the other side is an actual start date. I haven't confirmed when they actually want to bring me in. They've leaned on the side of immediately, <laughs> as soon as possible. I imagine um, probably in the new year. Uh, we're currently December 28 at the time of recording this. So in a few days, it'll be the new year. Then it'll be January 1st, 2024. And I imagine they'll want to start me off then. So, whether I choose to be full-time or part-time or what they want to offer me, uh, that will determine if I leave school or not. It will determine if I stay in this apartment or not. It'll, it'll determine a whole bunch of things. So, to wrap up, if I choose the company and I choose full-time, I have to quit school. I have to leave this apartment. If I choose part-time, I might be able to still study. I might be able to stay in this apartment. And if I don't choose to work at all, then everything stays the same. So, stay tuned. I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Arigatou gozaimasu.